Rod Taylor, a lasting symbol of the movie world, is famous for his many different roles and his charming presence on screen. Not a lot of people know that he started out in Australian radio before moving to Hollywood. People find it really interesting how he could play so many different characters with such authenticity and charm. Share your favorite memories or stories about this classic actor in the comments below. Funny, surprising, and sad facts about his life and career are coming soon. Rod Taylor, a significant figure in the film industry, made a lasting impression during his time and beyond. He influenced Hollywood greatly through his performances and pioneering roles. His talent and charm captivated audiences, making him a prominent figure in movies. His portrayal of different characters in various types of movies showcased his acting range and earned him widespread praise. His presence on screen was powerful, drawing viewers into the stories he brought to life with authenticity and depth. His performances touched audiences, leaving a strong memory in the minds of movie fans. Besides his on-screen work, he also had a big impact on the film industry as a whole. He played a key role in shaping Hollywood, challenging norms, and pushing boundaries with each new project. His dedication to acting inspired many, leaving a lasting impression that continues to inspire future generations. Through his talent, dedication, and pioneering work, Rod Taylor established himself as a trailblazer in the film industry. His contributions to Hollywood endure, reminding us of the power of storytelling and the lasting influence of a single individual on an entire artistic medium. In World Without End, the actor skillfully portrayed Herbert Ellis, a character that received both praise and controversy. The movie faced legal issues with the H.G. Wells estate due to alleged similarities with Wells' famous book, The Time Machine. This legal trouble added an interesting twist to the film's story, generating buzz among movie fans. The lead actor in World Without End also appeared in The Time Machine, connecting the two movies unexpectedly. He seamlessly transitioned from one timeless story to another, showcasing his versatility. In Dark of the Sun, he took on the role of Curry, a character originally intended for Clint Walker. His stepping into this role due to unforeseen circumstances added a unique touch to the film, highlighting not only his acting skills, but also his ability to adapt. Tragedy struck his personal life when his second wife, Mary Beth Hylam, passed away on 7 March 2009. Despite this loss, he continued to pursue his passion for acting with unwavering dedication. The casting journey for him was not always straightforward, with initial considerations possibly leaning in different directions. However, fate had other plans, ultimately placing him in the lead role, showing that the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry can lead to unexpected yet rewarding outcomes. In his career's narrative, each role, movie, and twist of fate contributed to the story of his life in the world of cinema. This is not just the story of an actor, but of a man navigating the unpredictable paths of Hollywood. It speaks to his impact on film history, an impact that continues to captivate audiences. Rod Taylor, recognized for his roles in well-known movies like The Time Machine, The Train Robbers, and The Birds, portrayed various characters with depth and authenticity. Despite being Australian, he convincingly played English roles, showing his versatility as an actor. In The Train Robbers, he shared insights into John Wayne's condition during filming, noting Wayne's occasional struggles with balance due to illness. His portrayal of Mitch Brenner in The Birds was memorable, and an interesting detail about filming was revealed the seagulls were enticed to remain on set with a mixture of wheat and whiskey. These stories give a peek into his experiences on set, highlighting his dedication to acting and the unique challenges he faced. His impact on cinema continues to connect with audiences worldwide. Before he started acting, he tried painting, expressing his creativity on canvas. But then he focused on acting instead, which became his main job. He was close with Anita Ekberg, who died just before him. In the movie Dark of the Sun, he played Curry, who in posters held a chainsaw, but not in the actual scene. This change from art to acting, mixed with his personal life, made him important in the entertainment world. In the 1960s, he starred in the classic sci-fi film The Time Machine as H. George Wells. He shared the screen again with Yvette Mimia in Dark of the Sun. Even though 20th Century Fox considered him for the astronaut role in Planet of the Apes, they went with Charlton Heston instead. In The High Commissioner, he played Scobie Malone, a role adapted from John Cleary's novel. Changes were made to the story, like toning down the Vietnam War element and altering Malone's background. 
These adjustments included making him an outback cop instead of a Sydney homicide detective. His relationship with Maria Cullen also underwent a transformation. These shifts gave the character a unique twist. Rod Taylor's versatility as an actor allowed him to adapt to various roles, showcasing his talent on the big screen. In the 1960s spy flick The High Commissioner, the lead role was taken by Rod Taylor. Notably, this movie marked a significant moment in spy films as it featured an Australian as the main secret agent. He also starred in The Liquidator in 1965, a spy film that came out about four years before the Australian-led James Bond movie on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Moving on to the late 1960s and early 1970s, he found himself in movies set in Africa. He played Curry in Dark of the Sun and later took on another role in Traitor Horn. Both films, showing his versatility, were released within about four years of each other. In the realm of science fiction, he portrayed H. George Wells in The Time Machine. During a crucial scene where Wells initiates time travel, the clock beside the candle shows a time difference of one hour and 38 minutes starting at 6.31 and stopping at 8.09. His involvement in these films across various genres demonstrates his adaptability as an actor seamlessly transitioning from espionage to African adventure and then to the speculative world of time travel. In three Elizabeth Taylor films, he shared the screen giant, Raintree County, and the VIPS. Alongside Suzanne Pochette, he notably appeared in The Birds and also in Lesson in Fear and Fate is the Hunter. In The High Commissioner, he portrayed Scobie Malone, a role that showcased his versatility as an actor. Interestingly, in a scene from The High Commissioner, a poster of Deadlier Than the Mail can be spotted in the background, directed by Ralph Thomas, which adds an intriguing layer to the narrative. It's fascinating how these connections weave through the fabric of cinema, offering viewers subtle glimpses into the interconnected world of filmmaking. In The Time Machine, he played H. George Wells, and in Dark of the Sun, he portrayed Curry. It's interesting to note that he was in both World Without End and The Time Machine, two movies where survivors of nuclear war went different ways. Some turned into savage beings above ground, while others sought safety underground. This split is reflected in the roles he played. On the set of Dark of the Sun, there were tensions, with Kenneth Moore mentioning director Jack Cardiff's habit of being late and the disagreements between him and Jim Brown. He also became a father to Felicia Taylor with his second wife, Mary. These glimpses into his career and personal life provide insight into the man behind the roles. In The High Commissioner, Rod Taylor starred as Scobie Malone alongside other Australian actors like Charles Bud Tingwell, Leo McKern, Vincent Ball, and Ken Wayne. Most of them appear early in the TV movie. However, despite his presence, the TV movie didn't gain much attention from audiences after the 1960s. His career trajectory shifted, and his later TV movies were often overlooked by viewers. Rod Taylor's background was influenced by his parents' professions. His father worked in steel construction and drafting, while his mother was a children's book author. This upbringing likely played a role in shaping his career in the entertainment industry. Despite his later TV movies not gaining much traction with audiences, his role as Scobie Malone in The High Commissioner remains notable. The inclusion of Australian actors in a non-Australian TV movie brought attention to his versatility as an actor.